Air America, then and now, flying high with iconic actors. Hey movie enthusiasts! Welcome back to Then and Now Talents, where we take a trip down memory lane to explore the evolution of iconic actors. Today, fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the classic action comedy Air America. Join us on this cinematic adventure as we discover where the talented cast members are now. Take a cinematic journey back to 1990 with Air America, a thrilling action comedy directed by Roger Spottiswood. Set against the backdrop of the Vietnam War, the film introduces us to the chaotic world of the CIA-operated airline, Air America. This dynamic comedy, produced by Daniel Melnick, explores the misadventures and camaraderie of two pilots, by Mel Gibson and Robert Downey Jr., navigating the complexities of war-torn skies. Released on August 10, 1990, Air America not only delivers laughter and heart-pounding action but also offers a satirical lens on the geopolitical landscape of its time. The film captures the essence of the Vietnam War era, blending humor with the perilous nature of covert operations, all set to a backdrop of political intrigue. The chemistry between the lead actors, Mel Gibson and Robert Downey Jr., adds a unique flavor to the film. Gibson, already a Hollywood heavyweight, brings his charismatic presence, while Downey's youthful energy and comedic timing foreshadow the immense talent that would propel him to superstardom. The movie's supporting cast, including Ernie Lively, David Bowie, Nancy Travis and others, contributes to the film's overall appeal. Air America received praise for its entertaining narrative, successfully fusing comedy with action and providing audiences with a memorable ride through the skies of Vietnam. As we explore the lives of the cast members beyond Air America, we invite you to revisit this classic and join us on a journey through the careers of these talented actors who left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. Ernie Lively, Truck Driver Born on January 29, 1947, in Baltimore, Maryland, Ernie Lively was 43 during the filming of Air America. Known for his versatile roles, Lively continued to impress audiences with appearances in films like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2. His career spanned several decades, showcasing his talent in both film and television. David Bowie, Saunders Born on January 4, 1964, in New York City, David Bowie was 26 during the production of Air America. Bowie continued his career with appearances in various films and TV shows, showcasing his comedic talents. Post-Air America, he featured in projects like UHF, The Cable Guy and A Night at the Roxbury. Ned Eisenberg, Pirelli Born on January 13, 1957, in New York City, Ned Eisenberg was 33 during the filming of Air America. Eisenberg's career flourished post-Air America, with roles in popular TV series such as Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, Mayor of Easttown and films like The Burning. Art Lafleur, Jack Neely Born on September 9, 1943, in Gary, Indiana, Art Lafleur was 47 during the production of Air America. Lafleur's extensive career includes roles in films like The Sandlot, The Santa Claus and Field of Dreams. His versatility made him a beloved figure in the industry. Marshall Bell, O.V. Born on September 28, 1942, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Marshall Bell was 47 during the filming of Air America. Bell continued his successful career post-Air America, with notable appearances in films such as Total Recall, Stand By Me and Starship Troopers. Burke Burns, Recruiter Born on June 9, 1937, in Oskaloosa, Iowa, Burke Burns was 53 during the production of Air America. Burns continued his acting career, making appearances in TV shows like Seinfeld, ER and films like Problem Child and The Mighty Ducks. Burt Quook, General Lu Sung Born on July 18, 1930, in Warrington, Cheshire, England, Burt Quook was 60 during the filming of Air America. Known for his role as Cato in the Pink Panther series, Quook continued to contribute to film and TV with appearances in projects like Kiss of the Dragon and Last of the Summer Wine. 
Tim Thomerson, Babo Born on April 8, 1946, in Coronado, California, Tim Thomerson was 44 during the production of Air America. Thomerson's career continued with roles in sci-fi and action films such as Trancers and Near Dark, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Nancy Travis, Corinne Landro Born on September 21, 1961, in New York City, Nancy Travis was 29 during the filming of Air America. Travis went on to have a successful career in both film and television, with notable roles in projects like Three Men and a Baby, So I Married an Axe Murderer and the TV series Last Man Standing. Lane Smith, Senator Davenport Born on April 29, 1936, in Memphis, Tennessee, Lane Smith was 54 during the production of Air America. Smith's career continued with memorable roles in films like My Cousin Vinny, The Mighty Ducks and the TV series Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Ken Jenkins, Major Donald Lamont Born on August 28, 1940, in Dayton, Ohio, Ken Jenkins was 50 during the filming of Air America. Jenkins continued his acting career with appearances in TV shows like Scrubs and Cougar Town, as well as films such as The Abyss and Last Man Standing. David Marshall Grant, Rob Deal Born on June 21, 1955, in Westport, Connecticut, David Marshall Grant was 35 during the production of Air America. Grant's career extended into television with roles in series like 30-something and Everwood, showcasing his talent across various genres. Robert Downey Jr. Billy Covington Born on April 4, 1965, in New York City, Robert Downey Jr. was 25 during the filming of Air America. Downey's career skyrocketed post-Air America, becoming a Hollywood icon with roles in Iron Man, Sherlock Holmes and Avengers, Endgame. Mel Gibson, Gene Riot Born on January 3, 1956, in Peekskill, New York, Mel Gibson was 34 during the production of Air America. Gibson, already a prominent actor, continued his colossal success with roles in iconic films like Braveheart, Lethal Weapon series and The Passion of the Christ. As our cinematic expedition through the enthralling world of Air America comes to a close, we find ourselves enriched by the laughter, camaraderie and timeless performances of its stellar cast. The film not only encapsulated the spirit of the early 90s but also offered a satirical glance into the complexities of war and geopolitics, all wrapped in an exhilarating action comedy package. The on-screen synergy between Mel Gibson and Robert Downey Jr. elevated the movie, setting the stage for the latter's meteoric rise to become one of Hollywood's most celebrated actors. The supporting cast, from Ernie Lively to Nancy Travis, added layers of talent, contributing to the film's enduring legacy. Beyond the laughter and aerial escapades, Air America serves as a time capsule, allowing us to reflect on the cultural and cinematic landscape of its era. The post-Air America careers of its cast members have unfolded like chapters in an intriguing novel, with each actor leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. As we bid adieu to the captivating narratives of these talented individuals, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more in-depth explorations into the then and now of your favorite stars. Thank you for joining us on this flight through time. This is Then and Now Talents, signing off until our next cinematic adventure.